Hey guys, what's up? It's Jason. Hey, uh, driving around the cemetery, we just buried my grandma, and I see here they must be burying a firefighter. Um, wow. We got the fire engines out, and they're ringing the bell. And... Wow. That's, uh, whew, that's too bad. Anyways. Uh, here we, here I am. You can see the grounds workers are out here. Is it until like after 3:30? And before that, you can see it. the workers work and the clean up, and you know they're done by 3:30, and then it's open to the public. So, yeah. Anyways, uh. I just figured I'd do a quick little video as I'm driving out. I see a bunch of my relatives are up here. They're in the there. I think a lot of people don't know where my grandpa's buried, so they don't know where my grandma's going to be buried. Because they, they don't live over here like I do, so I mean, I know exactly where they're buried. They're going in to check and see, you know, the locations and stuff like that of everybody. They could have just asked me. But no, it's pretty cool. And they'll do a little printout, a little plot map of right where uh, your, rel your relative loved one whatnot is uh, located in the, the, in the cemetery. Um, it's pretty cool. So, uh, let's do a little walk real quick. Uh, I... For lack of better words, I don't want to say cool, but some of these are, you know, cemeteries are pretty impressive. Um, it's just great to see a few of them are pretty darn cool. Um, we just see along this road here in front of me, the main road that goes straight down. Um, it's called uh, Wold Circle. Named after, uh, most of them are named after soldiers or wars soldiers actually but uh you see on either side of the road here like one here this is uh the american ex-prisoners of war plaque and uh this is dedicated to those minnesotans who in the course of this nation's conflict suffered a prison prisoners of war Creators and the loss of their precious freedom. Department of the Minnesota American Ex Prisoners of War, April 9th, 1991. And you go down and you can see there's just a whole plethora of them. And of course, I'm not going to show any too many of this grave. The Jewish War Veterans of USA. Dedicated to the memory of those men and women who served so courageously in all wars, the American Legion Department of Minnesota. Dedicated to the men and women who have honorably served in the military service in the United States of America. This is from the Ladies Auxiliary, White Bear Lake, surrounding area, Ladies Auxiliary. Those who served. This is 8 AF uh, Historical Society of Minnesota. It's pretty cool. What's this? This is a dedicated to the 20,000 United Nations troops. 16,000 U.S. Marines and 4,000 U.S. Army who fought gallantly in the Battle of the Chosen Res Reservoir during November and December 1950. These few men became known as the Chosen Few. And it was in the mountains and terrain of North Korea with uh, temperatures as low as 35 degrees below zero. Wow. All right, let's move on.
move on. Let's see how many of these we can get. There's a bunch. Ninth Infantry Division, the old rebels. These were a support group to the U.S. Army 9th Infantry Division. Um, they were in the Mekong Delta and other areas of Vietnam from 1966 to 1970. 2,624 men killed in action, 18,831 wounded, 10 men awarded the Medal Medals of Honor. Here's a monument for uh, dedicated to all combat wounded veterans who uh, have given their gift of life, their blood for this country, and the ideals of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Pretty cool. Vietnam War, 1964 to 1975, dedicated to all American servicemen and women who served in Vietnam. I don't know if you guys know these totals, um, but for people that don't know, um, the, the Vietnam totals were uh, 58,184 killed in action, 303,704 wounded in action, 2,338 missing in action, and 240 medals of honor in Vietnam between those dates. This is in, in memory of the Minnesota veterans of the Korean War. This is dedicated here, put here in 11-11 of 1999. It's a pretty cool, pretty cool picture. This is my aunt. She probably didn't see me, or maybe that's why she's driving slow. Here's the U.S. submarine uh, veterans, World War II. Um, deal. There were 52 submarines lost, 3,505 men. The Mo Mobile uh, Riverine Force in Vietnam. There were sailors who served with the uh, Mobile Riverine Force. They were formed in 1966 as a, com a combined Navy and Army unit to fight riverine warfare on the brown waters of the Mekong Delta um, Corps. They carried the fight to uh, the enemies on the rivers, the canals, the swamps, the rice fields, and the Delta. Their courage, dedicated, and valor leave a lasting legacy of honor. In honor of all women and men who served in the United States Army and are still serving, WAC National Women's Army Corps of Association. I'm about ready to run out of time. Do another video down the other side, why not? I gotta walk back anyhow. No sense to be stopping this and walking that way. You know? This is World War II Victory Ribbon, World War II, it says again, 1941, 1945. I'm about done. This is the Ranger one, it's pretty cool. World War II Army Rangers. Then it lists all the battalions. 2 Presidential Unit, 4th Battalion, 5th Battalion, 5th Army, French Croix, Philippines, 6th Battalion, Number 2 Corps Commandation. I couldn't even list them off in time. Um, and then Invasions, North, North Africa, Sicily, Italy, Enzoi, Normandy, Let, Luzon, you know, I go on, Raids, Daipé, Sen Station, Sinigat, Homua, Kanabantun, and then major battles it goes through. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll try and do more.